Good morning, this is Paul. Because of what I do for a living, I get to drive an awful lot of different cars. I get to drive fast luxury cars, four wheel drives, supercars, sports cars. So I'm, I'm, I'm quite fortunate, um, but you do get used to them. Every now and again, I drive something that really, really sort of grabs my attention, gets my imagination going. And this is one of those cars. Behind me is a 2021 Porsche Taycan Cross Turismo 4S. I'd like to show you around. The first thing that grabbed me with this, now we've sold Taycans before, but this is the first of the Cross Turismos that we sold. And visually, I think it's fantastic. Just, just looking at the, at the shape of the car, it's not what you'd call a full-size estate car. It's, it's more of a sport wagon style. It hasn't got a, you're not gonna get a chest of drawers or a wardrobe in the back of it. But you are gonna be able to go on away for a weekend. You're gonna get a few bits and pieces in there and you can see, if you look, you can fold the seats down. So practicalities wise, it's all there. You've got five seats and a boot that you can get bits and pieces in. Now, getting back to the car itself, this particular car is in crayon, which I think looks really, really nice when you've got the, uh, the off-road pack, which gives you all of the black styling, which is the, the nice contrast black against the um, against the crayon and I think it makes it look rather funky and that nice lower lower down but what this has also got is a high spec car it's got these lovely carbon bladed wheels which just look fantastic you've got air ducts in there to help cool the brakes down Got these LED lights, and this is rather cool. So if I just swipe my finger in underneath here, there's your charging point. Swipe my finger under there again. Fab. As you can see here, you've got a full-length glass roof. It's a fixed glass roof, but it's a full-length roof. Got this nice boot spoiler which i think ties the back end really really nicely and this has got the optional rear light with the porsche logo that you can see so that's going to look really cool late at night it sits on nice wide rubber as you can see it's an incredibly well balanced car it doesn't feel it doesn't feel heavy um, when you jump into a tesla or a lot of these electric cars I think you, you sacrifice a lot of the feel and character of a luxury car by having very light, um, light, light materials used. They can feel quite sort of plasticky. And you don't get this. You don't get that with this car. It still feels like a Porsche. And Porsches, I've always loved Porsches and they, they've always had a very solid feel about them. You see there, you've got electric memory seats, the Bose surround sound system, but you've got the same kind of leather you'd have in all the other Porsches. You've got a very similar feel to the seats and the seats are really comfortable. You've got lots of lateral support in there. They're very sporty. You've got a nice head, the Porsche crest on the headrest. You've got a nice stitched leather sports steering wheel. The whole thing just feels lovely. And there's an awful lot of natural light that comes in there. Yeah, I'm just gonna step in for a second. So you've got this lovely multi-function steering wheel. You've got the different drive modes. So if I just pop the ignition on a second. So the drive mode, if you turn this dial, you can flick from normal to range conscious to sport and sport plus. And when you go into sport or sport plus, you have um, the sports engine sound. Well, it's not an engine sound. It's, it's, a, it's an electric sound, um, but this sounds really cool. Um, this whole dashboard is virtual. You can see here you've got lane assist, this little lane assist thing going on here. You've got traction control still. You can adjust the suspension and the ride height. Um, you've got uh, cruise control here, all your apps and what have you. 
since you've got CarPlay. Um, very nice and easy to use system. Chrono package. And this separate screen down here as well. It's lovely. It's a really nice, comfortable place to be. It's one of those cars I've just fallen in love with. Literally within the first five minutes. You've got decent legroom. I have the seat quite a way back, but you've still got decent legroom in the back. You've got a crescent headrest on the back as well, as you can see. You've got Isofix child seat system. It's actually a four seater. Oh, there, there is. Yeah, no, there is. There is a. It's it's four comfortable, five occasional is what I would say there. And it's got a range of over 200 miles, 240 miles, I think, when I stepped into it this morning. We had it on charge, um, so it was full when I full battery when I got to it. It's just a really interesting car. When you put your foot down, I, 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 I you know, I've got to stick my hand up. I did. You know, it rearranges your face, which is really, really, really bizarre when there's there's no real engine noise. But if this is the the future of the sports car, where do I sign? I absolutely love it. So I hope you like the car. I hope you like the video, and I hope you find the video useful. If you'd like to know more about the car, please visit our website, www.clincardcars.co.uk. Pop us an email or a text or a WhatsApp or pick up the phone and speak to us. We'd be very happy to speak to you about it. Thank you very much for watching.